Hi, I'm Vanessa Bukili. I am the Urban Forestry and Landscape Planner for the City of Somerville. I'm here on Beacon Street where the state contractors are finishing up the planting for the spring season. We're planting 121 trees just north of Washington Street on Beacon Street this spring. The 121 trees are comprised of 10 different species and cultivars. We're planting the, the trees consistent with the right tree, right place methodology so that trees are planted in places where, where they can survive in the long term. They're the right species for the right place. Um, they're also, this is also consistent with the urban forestry program of the city in general where we're trying to increase the diversity of our urban forest. The site conditions for these trees are better than many of our trees in the city. They have five by five, five foot by five foot tree, tree wells. The tree wells are also three feet deep, so each tree has about 75 cubic feet of soil available. So the 10 different species and cultivars we're planting include two different cherries, two different maples, Amermachia, golden rain tree, Persian ironwood, Japanese zelkova, Japanese tree lilac, uh, and that's it. Now they're digging a hole with an auger so they have some place to plant the tree. It's a bald and burlap tree. All of the trees come with a root ball with burlap around it and a wire basket. You can see they're snipping part of the wire basket off. This is so that the roots have room to grow. They're also going to take off the top layer of soil um, to expose the upper upper surface roots and make sure that they're planting the tree at the right depth. Here they're planting a Japanese tree lilac. They're measuring where the trunk is in the well to make sure that it's properly positioned when they put the tree grate back on. They're putting compost and uh, fresh loam around the root ball to make sure it has good planting soil with nutrients around it. Ding so that the root flare where the trunk meets the roots is um, at ground level so they don't put dirt on top of that. It's an important, important thing to make sure the roots stay aerated. They need to breathe just like we do. Then they put weed fabric on top of the soil to make sure that weeds don't grow through. And then they'll place gravel on top of that uh, below the tree well, tree grate. They're putting gravel on top of the weed fabric. This is to uh, help reduce the amount of garbage that would collect under the tree grate, but also allows for the roots to be aerated. Now they're putting the tree grate back on the tree. The tree grate will help protect the soil from getting compacted, and it provides a nice ADA compliant surface for people to walk on. Eventually the tree will grow fat enough that the tree grate gets in the way, so we have to keep an eye on, on the growth of these trees. Lastly, they're putting on a, a green irrigation bag or a gator bag. These are put on each tree and they hold about 20 gallons of water. They'll be filled up once or twice a week. They have small holes in the bottom that allows the water to drip out slowly over a four to eight hour period, which helps create deeply soaked soil for the tree roots. In addition to planting the trees correctly, the establishment period in the first three to five years is critical to making a healthy and vibrant urban forest. Watering is a very important piece of this, and we have these green gator bags on. They'll be on for at least two years, and we have contractors who will provide water to the trees regularly, but residents can also help by filling these up, especially during uh, drought periods. So like I said, we have 121 trees going in on the street this, this spring. Um, there's construction going on on the south side of Washington, uh, but once that construction is complete, we'll be planting an additional 70 or so trees. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, you can call me at 617-625-6600.
I'm extension 2516. Or you can send me an email at vbukili, that's V-B-O-U-K-I-L-I, at somervillema, all one word, dot gov. Thanks for watching.